Hey guys, it's Amaya here back with another quick video and in this one we're gonna go over the old bodybuilding nutrition myth that your body can only absorb a limited amount of protein from one single meal. And the figure that has been thrown around a lot is the 30 grams of protein. It's also called the 30 gram of protein myth that your body can just absorb that amount from one single meal, everything else gets pooped out, doesn't get used and you just pretty much wasting your time if you eat anything above that. And that kind of played hand in hand with the old meal frequency myth as well where you used to believe that you need to eat every two to three hours to get some fat loss and muscle building benefits which is all a bunch of nonsense obviously we know that right now there's been a lot of research on that and the same bullshit is also for this uh, the 30 gram limit it definitely doesn't exist so there's no such thing as a 30 gram limit. Funny enough, there was uh, one researcher who said that if someone can prove that your body can only absorb 30 grams of protein from one meal, he would give that person 10,000 US dollars. So if you watching this video are interested in proving that theory, then there's a, there's a nice little reward for that. But let's kind of find out why. So why isn't there a limit? Well, it makes evolutionary sense not to have a limit. I mean, we've been on this planet for about 200,000 years. We're a hunter-gatherer species, we spent our days hunting, gathering food and then protein as an essential nutrient. We have to have some, have to have some protein obviously to survive and to fuel all the bodily functions like the immune system, like muscle building system and all these other systems. Protein is necessary and we would eat that protein mainly at night. If you're spending the day hunting, gathering, you know, protein will be consumed at night. So we would consume larger doses of protein at once. I mean, we didn't have Tupperware and a pre-made chicken that was just lying in the shop so you can get it every two, three hours, right? And it doesn't really make any sense to have a limit. And on a body level, on, a, on a, just simply what's happening in your body, in your intestine, there's a lot of things happening when you eat protein. So if you look at the rate of digestion and the rate of absorption of protein, even a scoop of whey, which is one of the fastest sources of protein, I mean whey protein supplement, takes quite a bit of time to digest and we're talking about 8 to 10 grams of protein from whey for about an hour or two of digestion time. So that, that's quite a long time, right? So even a scoop of whey, which is 20 grams, takes about two, two and a half hours to digest. And that's one of the fast sources we have available. And if we're talking about real food, if we're talking about chicken meat plus some carbs, plus some fiber from veggies, plus vegetables as well have water, uh, other things as well, and nutrients like fats that come with that. I mean, that meal will probably digest like eight to 12 hours. You know, we're, we're talking about a very slow rate of digestion. There's many things in your intestine that is actually regulating this. And there's a hormone called CCK, which also regulates your appetite and satiety, which can actually slow down the rate of absorption of protein. You know, it can auto-regulate by the amount of protein you're eating, how much of that gets released. This is called also the free amino acid pool. So your body kind of has this pool where all the amino acids are and if they're necessary, they're gonna be released in the bloodstream. And at the pretty much, we, we don't know exactly if there's a limit of how much you can consume in one single meal and it's kind of gonna overload your system. There's kind of a daily amount that if you cross over, you just simply poop out. So there's no lot of side effects if you do get a little bit higher in protein. I mean, as someone, if you're on a diet, you obviously wanna be careful with not overeating on protein because you're gonna to have to compensate to be still in a caloric deficit, you have to reduce your carbs and your, or your fats. So that's kind of where you have to juggle those calories a little bit. But when, if you're in a bulk or if you're in a higher caloric maintenance, then there's really no need to worry about if you're over consuming a little bit of protein. So the point really is that there's no such thing as a limit and there hasn't been a strict study saying, hey, this is the, the exact amount that is limited. But we can see from just looking at the data, what we currently know from just simple anecdote, we can see that if you eat a meal that has about 60, 80, even 100 grams of protein, your body can handle that. And 100 grams of protein is really high amount if you look at how much food you actually have to consume to get that amount of protein. And I would recommend someone who's following intermittent fasting to have a double dose of protein in their last meal before they close that eating window because that protein will then take a much longer time to digest so you will have those amino acids available from your pool for those 16 hours of fasting or 12 hours or however much your window is. So that's a really important point there and if you've been doing intermittent fasting you probably realize that there's no such 
thing as a limit as well because most of your meals will be containing at least about 50 60 grams of protein if your let's say daily intake is 180 grams and if you're eating three meals that's going to be 60 grams per meal so at least so there's definitely no such thing as limit just wanted to debunk this myth because i was still getting a lot of questions on it believe it or not after all these decades of research in nutrition we still believe some of these things that are dating back in the old bodybuilding days so hope you guys enjoyed this quick a video a little bit of uh, info on nutrition a little bit of info on, that you can pretty much apply and if someone asks you the same question you can uh, pretty debunk the myth for them as well so let me know if you have any questions in the comments below so post your questions there as you guys know I always look through all the comments and answer the questions if there is any aside from that make sure to hit that subscribe button to support the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one peace